Belters and welcome. How are you all doing? Especially in this hot weather. We in Britain are not very good with coping with the heat. Certainly my hair goes a bit frizzy. So uh, this video is going to be about um, all the needle felting channels out there because I think it's really important. There's so many people you can learn from and some of these channels are really not very well known and unless you're actively searching for them it's quite difficult. YouTube doesn't always suggest um, all of them and I thought oh this is going to be a really quick video I'll just whiz through all of the ones I know and I wrote them all down and I literally have about 30 channels so what I'm going to do is obviously there's the big sort of five six or seven that most people will know I'll just mention them then I'll talk you through 10 of the ones that I think are really good and then in the description below there's a little arrow at the side just press on that and the description comes up for the video there will be the rest of them all down there with the names. I'm not going to link each one because it would take me a long time to link 30. But if you just type the name in to YouTube search, it should come up. So let's get started. We'll talk about the big five and then straight on to 10 that I recommend. Starting off with the big five, well, no, not the big five. There's more than that, actually. But starting off with the big one, Serafina Fibre Art, obviously stunning tutorials um, and obviously the shop attached to it. I'm sure everybody knows her well over 90,000 and then uh, subscribers and then we've got um living felt huge fantastic felt alongs really really good the makers with two s's at the end again like i said i'm going to put all the names in the description so you can just go in there if you're not sure how to spell things to search them the wishing shed she does fantastic little tutorials and she has pdfs on her etsy shop um, Mum's Makery I'm going to mention as well even though they haven't got uh, tons of subscribers they're always on there's lots on there there's full tutorials so they're really really good Lincolnshire Fen Craft uh, she's got the shop attached as well or Lincolnshire Fen Crafts I think it is um, and her tutorials are really lengthy really lovely explain everything she's got starter um, tutorials um, and all, all sorts and highland cows and sheep and all the sort of things I like as well along with lots of other ones uh, Bink Bonk is um, another one that does some of her videos have been super popular on YouTube but she's very good too and Wool Felt XI which I don't know how many of you do know that one I'm sure you do but she has tons of tutorials on there too which are all very different um, and she uses a lot of tops wool or roving I think in America you use the word roving sometimes um, so she it's quite interesting to see how well she works with with that wool so um, that's the main ones let's go on to I'm going to show you uh, some of the other ones to show you why I think they're really good re get my words out show you why I think they're really good First up, we've got the Woolly Rabbit Needle Felting Kits, Courses and Fibre. So she obviously sells things as well. Now, when you go to home, you see some of the videos. If you press videos, you get all of their videos and playlists will give you certain playlists such as beginner tutorials or things like that. But she has some really good ones, how to make... Um, Thin pieces, which felting needle does what, needle felting for beginners, slender limbs, that's a really good one. So she's got really some lovely um, tutorials, but she's also got some really good basic ones too. Um, oh, she's got a Santa video. Um, oh, how six ways to use the same felting needle. I might watch that one actually. Um, uh, so she's very good, really good at explaining everything. The woolly rabbit. Now this lady, uh, Wakuniko, I think is how you say it. Two hundred fifty-seven thousand subscribers. Extremely uh, professional. Absolutely amazing. And she doesn't really do full tutorials. She does small parts of tutorials. So it's really good and really worth looking at, especially if you're into cats. But if you're into creating any animals, you know, how to do their fur. It, you look at it. I mean, it's just incredible. It's so realistic. Um, Creations by Krista. So she's got over 11,000. But again, it's another cat, but she does other things as well. But she's done some really, look, each one is a good sort of 20 or 30 minutes long, really involved tutorials, uh, Baby Yoda, how to do a fox. She's got the one with the retriever puppy, which comes up a lot when you do searches. It's not a full tutorial, but it's lovely. So she's really good. Creations by Krista. Uh, Cham K Needle Felt, I think that's how you say it. Um, so she's got some cat ones, but I really like her dog ones. And she always starts with a sponge as well. It's really unusual. But um, her tutorials are 
are quite you know they show you nearly everything and I just think it's uh she's very good like how to do a pour that one was up there and she's got an awful lot of videos on there little Bichon Frise poodle um so definitely worth looking at and that's Cham K needle felts so that's that one now the hobby bird um, she does other things as well as needle felting. So this is where if you went to the videos, you'd see all of them. So go to the playlists, look down for her needle felting playlist and view full playlist. You don't want to play them all. You want to see them all. So she's got elephant, a little pig, a frog, a penguin, peas in a pod, watermelon. So there's a lot of different ones. And I like her because she talks all the way through it like I do. And she really explains things really, really well. And she does have some other really nice videos, but they're nothing to do with needle felting. But yeah, so I really like her. The hobby bird. Grandma's footsteps. So if you're looking at trying 2D flat felting, Grandma's footsteps is for you. Really long tutorials and she explains everything really clearly. And see, these are some of the landscapes she's done and she'll lead you all the way through it with lovely um, teaching techniques as you go through like there was a pig one. So Grandma's foot. she's got other things on there, but she'll be doing more and more <clears throat> as time goes on. Now, Sophie Wool doesn't have many subscribers and she should have more. Her work is exquisite. Her videos are just beautiful and they're not full tutorials, which I know I said I'd like it to be tutorials, but you can still learn quite a lot just by watching some of the four or five minute ones. Look at this. This is a little chihuahua I think that she was doing. It is absolutely adorable. And even watching her do certain small bits you can see how delicate she is and how she uses the fur so she's very good true style lab similar thing so um again they're not full ones but you can just go in and have a look at the ones that she does have and see the clips and her work again is stunning um i don't remember if she's got many videos on i don't think she's got tons but i'll just show you this one at the top and this is how she's doing the um, whiskers and you can see you can watch her do the detail around the eye and see how it makes a difference these are the whiskers and how she pops them in so I still think even though they're short videos you can still learn quite a lot from it it's amazing detail it's just absolutely astonishing some people's work now Jules felt like it um, really beautiful dogs look how cute they are and she is doing some really fantastic um, involved lengthy tutorials to show you exactly how to make things and things like um, there's how to do their noses, how to make their collars. And she's just started and she will be uh, doing more and more videos as time goes on. But her dogs have got such character and they really are great. So they are lovely videos to watch. Felted Sky. So these are tutorials and she's got I liked her because she was very different. Look at the Christmas trees, the snowmen, the baubles, the little rainbow, the hearts, you know, our cactuses. Look at them. They're adorable. So really good. These are proper tutorials again and also some uh, flat pitch, uh, 2D pictures. So really liked her and she's, you know, lovely tuition, really easy to watch. This one, Fieltra con Patricia, just to show you if you fancy doing a rabbit, um, she shows you how to do the wire armature on the inside of the sort of showing you the skeleton. And then she goes through some of the rabbit in, in quite a lot of detail. Um, so I, it, that, she doesn't have loads of videos, but I just thought for the wire armature aspect and if you're interested in doing a rabbit, she would be really good for you. And then Dalgom now, oh, she, <laughs> I think it's a she, sorry. But um, look at this needle felted guinea pig, this little bird. Um, they're really sort of long tutorials as well. How to do the eyes, how to do the beaks, um, how to do the tongues, probably how to do the noses. So really good if you're interested in doing cats and dogs and things with more detail. Again, she doesn't have absolutely tons, but the ones she does have are really, really good. So uh, Dalgom, I will link some of these actually. This one, D Craft, she has just sort of started. But oh my goodness, if you like horses, this is going to be amazing. Um, they're not really long tutorials. They don't need to be. But I'll just show you one of them in a minute. The horse's head. Uh, I, she's very difficult to search for. So I will link her in description because it's obviously got some uh, Japanese or Chinese writing in front of it. 
but look at these horses they are brooches and she sort of shows you how to do it on a little time lapse they're not full tutorials but you you get the picture you can see what she's doing and I think you know if she does more it will be really really good so felters what did you think of that I really hope it helped you in some way because um there's only I think if you see one person do something, you might not always understand it. But if you see another person describe it in a slightly different way, you might start to understand it a bit better. So I think the more ways that you can see something being done, the better. So that's why I really recommend you trying to find other channels. And so many people do so many different things like cats and dogs are really, really big. And there's so many channels that do that. And that horse channel I mentioned I think she's going to be really good as she gets going. So um, I hope that's helped. If you know anybody that has a channel that I haven't mentioned that does tutorials and teaching, I mean, there are channels out there that people just show their work, which is absolutely fine. But I'm really looking for channels that teach you things. So if you know any good ones, um, please type them in the comments below because I think that would be great. And then I can have a look as well and we can share everything. So thanks for watching, everybody, and we'll see you again soon. Take care.